hello everyone and welcome to my channel about the process of erythropoiesis or the formation of red blood cells so first of all uh, the stem cells are the cells uh, which are present in the bone marrow and will, uh, bone marrow of adults and which gives rise to uncommitted pluripotent stem cells uh, from which various blood cells are formed and when the uncommitted pluripotent stem cells are employed for the formation of a particular type of blood cell these are known as committed pluripotent stem cells these are of two types lymphoid stem cells and colony forming blastocytes among the colony forming blastocytes one unit is uh, colony forming unit erythrocyte from this colony forming unit erythrocyte uh, are red, red blood cells or rbcs are produced so let's discuss the stages first of all the stage is known as pluerythroblast in this stage uh, the cells is uh, the cell is a is uh, bigger in uh, bigger in uh, size or also known as the me megaloblast which is 20 micron in diameter it has nucleus with nucleoli and uh, from this stage uh, the, the cell multiplies several times and gives rise to adenomoblast at this stage the synthesis of hemoglobin starts but the hemoglobin starts appearing in the intermediate normoblast stage so after that the there is early normoblast the cell is little smaller in diameter that is about 15 micron and uh, the cell is basophilic in nature the cell is basophilic in nature in this stage the nucleoli disappears nucleoli disappears from from this stage it goes into the intermediate normoblast the cell size again decreases to about 12 micron in diameter and uh, at this stage the hemoglobin starts appearing um, chrom chromatin condensation occurs and the new uh, chromatin condensation occurs and uh, the hemoglobin starts appearing so the cell is basophilic in nature and but there because of the presence of uh, hemoglobin this stains both acidic and basic and at this stage it is known as polychromic cell polychromic cell from this stage it goes into the late normoblast at this stage the nucleus uh, becomes ink spot like and so this is known as ink spot nucleus and uh, hemoglobin concentration increases which makes the cell acidic in uh, nature so it is known as orthochromic cell and uh, at the last portion of this stage the nucleus disappears and the process is known as pycnosis after this cells after this uh, stage uh, there is a reticulocyte form in reticulocyte there is formation of reticulum and uh, the cell is also known as the immature rbc and uh, the diameter is little more than that of the mature rbc at this stage the cell is uh, uh, reticular reticu reticular network uh, form the reticular network forms due to the remnants of uh, the disintegrated organelles like golgi apparatus and other organelles so at this stage the cells enters in the capillary from the site of their production next is the matured rbc so at this stage there is disappearance of the reticulum 
and the cell attains the biconcavity here the cell uh, size decreases to 7.2 micron and uh, the cell uh, is uh, without nucleus from uh, proerythroblast to matured rbc it takes 7 days from proerythroblast to reticulocyte it takes 5 days and from reticulocyte to uh, matured rbc it takes 2 more days so this is a brief discussion of uh, the various stages of erythropoiesis this is the diagram first of all from pluripotent hematopoietic stem cells uh, there is uh, formation of coronary forming blastocyte and from there there is uh, coronary forming unit erythrocyte uh, proerythroblast early normoblast intermediate normoblast late normoblast reticulocyte and finally the erythrocyte so here i am ending my discussion see you in my next video thank you and if you like my channel like my videos please subscribe my channel